the time right now. It is 11 o'clock on this Monday night, December 23rd, 2013. Time now for the Water Manager PJ Wiggins, the late night report. Monday night, December 23rd, 2013. Good evening, everybody. Our current conditions at 11 o'clock in North Massachusetts. We got a temperature of 41 degrees with light rain with a humidity of 86%. Wind speed north of about 3 miles per hour. Barometer 3.05 inches, 2.37 degrees, and a visibility of 7 miles. Okay, let us take a look at our radar scope. Shows a couple of French terrain shows in Boston and Point South, and stretching out for Red Island and out for Southeast Connecticut, and for the Cape Islands, and stretching out for Long Island, New York, and stretching it on a southern New Jersey, down for Southern Delaware, down for Eastern and Southeastern Tip of Maryland, and stretching on the coastal Eastern Virginia. And they're just curving all the way down into the eastern Carolinas, down for eastern Georgia, down in northeastern portions of Florida, and down for western portions of Florida. And stretching off the, the western Florida Gulf Coast here. And the rain is extending all the way off the main coastline, stretching out to Nova Scotia with a few sleet and snow pelts mixing in and stretching out to the Prince Edward Island. And a few snow sh flurries around across Maine and down through Central New Hampshire and then in and out. Blobs of snow showers that stretch in eastern Quebec and stretch down through northeastern Ontario, stretch into northwestern portions of Vermont, stretch down through northeastern and central and western portions of New York and stretch down through Ontario and stretch down through seven portions of Michigan and stretch down through off the Wisconsin. Eastern Wisconsin from Green Bay down to Milwaukee here and a few s snow showers around the s s north central Union, Peninsula of Michigan back to the snow showers in some portions of Indiana and back to the snow showers and for some portions of south central portions of Kentucky and north central portions of Tennessee Back to the snow showers in southeastern portions of Missouri. Line of snow showers in central portions of Missouri. Down in southeastern portions of Nebraska and northeastern portions of Kansas. A bunch of snow showers. And a bunch of snow showers in northwestern portions of Colorado and northern Utah. Straight to Dan, we want you to eastern Idaho down through western portions of Montana and stretch to the north southern portions of Idaho. Sleep pelts in the eastern portions of Montana. Line of snow showers in central and eastern portions of Saskatchewan down through west central portions of North Dakota. And snow showers in central portions of northern portions of Alberta and sleet and snow pelts in southwestern portions of Saskatchewan and sleep pelts in the eastern portions of Alberta and matches of snow showers in portions of eastern British Columbia and matches of rain and sleet and snow pelts in western Washington and northern Oregon. Shawmut, Montana. Good evening. 40 degrees light rain. All right, let's take a look at our satellite loop, and it shows. Line of clouds stretching from eastern Mexico, stretching out of the Gulf of Mexico, stretching out of the eastern seaboard, and then stretching all the way into the land of Canada, and another batch of cloud in the span, stretching from eastern Quebec, stretching in upstream North New England, and up through western New York and Pennsylvania. Search to know how and down to Kentucky and Tennessee and search down for eastern and western portions of Great Lakes State. And the cloud searching for southern Missouri, down for central Arkansas, down for Oklahoma and down for northern Texas and searching for Kansas and down to eastern Nebraska. Back to the clouds from northern Utah and Colorado, down for western Nebraska, down for the Dakotas and down for Manitoba and down for. Down for. Saskatchewan down for eastern portions of Alberta, searching in the northern Montana, down for eastern Ohio, down Wyoming, and searching in eastern Washington, and back to the clouds, searching in northeastern Oregon. Blobs of clouds from British Columbia and Alberta. Okay, let us take a look at a map situation. High pressure centered in eastern Kansas and Nebraska. High pressure centered in southern Ontario. High pressure searching in northeastern portions of Nevada. Stay tuned, cool front from searching. Central Alberta, stretching in northwest portion of Saskatchewan. And a station from, stretching from eastern Alberta, stretching out southwest portion of Saskatchewan. And stretching out in eastern Montana, down from Wyoming, down from Colorado, down from New Mexico. And a cold front stretching from northern Wyoming, Wisconsin, stretching from central Michigan, down to Ontario, and then to the New York Freeway, stretching in the New England, in northern New England. And a cold front from central Gulf of Mexico, stretching in Florida. 
And a stitch in front down the North Line, Coast Line, and North Nova Scotia. And a final battery from Central Oregon and Central Union to Washington and Northern Idaho and Memphis. North Western portions of Montana. 38 degrees out of temperature right now in Boston. And we are the same temperature as Atlanta at 38. 43 in Washington, D.C., 75 down in Miami. 50 out of Brownsville, 36 in. Delta number 3 degree reading in Albuquerque. But Kansas City. Chicago and Minneapolis. It is temperatures in the single digits. Five above in Kansas City, one above in Chicago, one below and in Minneapolis. 35 in Denver, 39 in Salt Lake City, 40 out in Great Falls. Montana, 45 in Seattle, 55 in San Francisco, and 60 in Los Angeles. All right, we're gonna take a look at our. Take a look at our short range forecast discussion. Temperature will be 10 to 15 degrees below average for the upper Mississippi Valley, Great Lakes and Tennessee Valley, and the middle Mississippi Valley. And upper level energy over the Pacific Northwest will advance eastward to the upper Mississippi Valley by Wednesday. The system will produce rain and high elevation snow over the parts of the upper Pacific Northwest and in early Tuesday morning. Snow will develop over parts of the Northern Rockies. Likewise, in and on in Tuesday morning area, rain will develop over the parts of the Northern High Plains on Monday evening and change over snow by Tuesday afternoon. The snow will be moving in parts of the Central Rockies Northern High Plains by Tuesday, moving in the Great Lakes and Upper Mississippi Valley by Wednesday morning and Christmas. Meanwhile, very strong front along the eastern seaboard will move away from the coast by Tuesday. The storm will produce from black to moderate rain over parts of the Mid Atlantic coast. That will taper off by Tuesday morning area. Rain and freeze rain will develop over parts of the eastern Maine and the Northern High. Monday, the initial showers and thunderstorms are developed over the southeast coast and in and on Tuesday. Beyond the system, Cook Ridge Flow will erupt to the end and the Bridges Lake affects snow down wind from the Great Lakes about Tuesday evening. That took us 23 minutes instead, so an extra 11 minutes on our drive, and that number will be high. And our local New England forecast discussion for synopsis. Weak low pressure and a cold front will push off through of this evening. Mainly dry and much colder weather will be arriving for Christmas Eve. Lingering into the Christmas Day and another round of rain and snow is possible toward Thursday. Dry weather should be fall for this weekend. A better low to mid level moist can fringes cloud left it offshore with better pressure falls. Water vapor satellite shows that the, the, the broader foot throat and antenna vortex digging in fact the Midwest fall new term meso scale gunnets and HR and wrap and the evidence power rain will be out of the air by morning. Dry transfer after with fallen service two points and winds not for sleep bring all the promises for its plans for a casino in Revere. Colder and drier air south southeastward. Cold air should be begin to build in the north we dry at midnight as cloud decks break under the northwest winds hanging back thereby. Result in a little don't know for the freeze rain. The lows will get it down to the 20s. A couple of wet conditions will yield the likely back class long untreated area waterways. That special weather statement will continue during the morning hours. And we'll take a look at our special weather statement effect for due to 7 day forecast. Rain will continue over the next 2 to 3 hours across much of southern New England. The ground is already wet and temperatures are forecast to drop below freezing late tonight. This may result in impact to the black class and impact clan and untreated roads and sidewalks. Motors and pedestrians should use when traveling tonight and early Tuesday morning. Day one tonight, Alva Wayne coming in and this evening there is a black class manager expected to develop tonight as temperatures dropping in the trains across most areas. Day two to seven, Tuesday if it's Sunday, no one has a reserve expected this time. Okay, seven day forecast goes like this. Overnight, a chance rain, patch limits with snow after midnight, then gradually ending cloudy with a high. Low near trains after grades, light enough for us with about becoming an over about five to nine miles by after the midnight. Chance of is 30%. Little no snow and cleanage expected. Tuesday, parts of the sky time there, 35 degrees, not one about 9 miles per hour. Tuesday night, most clouds are then gradually becoming mostly close clouds, known 16 degrees, not for one about 7 11 miles per hour, gusts of 23 miles per hour. Christmas Day, most of the sky time there, 24 degrees. Ch Northwest wind about 5 to 8 miles per hour coming in the afternoon. Wednesday night, most clouds got low of 21 degrees, light south wind. Thursday, a slight chance of snow shots before 11 a.m. Then a slight chance of rain shots, most of the clouds got high in 41 degrees. Chance of precipitation is 20%. Thursday night, podcast got low in 26 degrees. Friday, science got high in 36 degrees. Friday night, podcast got low in 22 degrees. Saturday, most science got high in 35 degrees. Saturday night, podcast got low in 26 degrees. Sunday, most science got high in 43 degrees. Sunday night, most clouds got low in 28 degrees, and for Monday, parts of the night skies are 37 degrees. Peters with a phrase of the night. Green engine and it's back to cold times beginning Christmas Eve. This is PJ Wednesday, everybody. Good night. With a good present, I'll be seeing you tomorrow morning, Christmas Eve morning. Yes, sir.
Good night, and see you tomorrow.